In this tutorial, I'll show you how to add fog and mist to your 3D scenes using the Mist Pass in Blender. And this effect works for both the Cycles and EV rendering engines. And if you'd like to purchase the finished project files to get the startup Blender file, you can use this to follow along with the tutorial, as well as getting the finished file with the finished Mist Pass, then I'll have a link in the description to the project file. Now the Mist Pass works in the Compositor, and so if you want to learn more about compositing in Blender, then I highly recommend checking out my Compositing for Beginners tutorial. Link to that tutorial is in the description, and I go over all the basics of compositing in Blender. So what you first want to do is select the camera and click here on the Object Data Properties. And we want to open up the Viewport Display and we want to turn on this Mist button. So the Mist button is going to give us this little dot here with a line and then another dot. And so this will be the starting of the mist and then this will be the ending of the mist. And if you want to, you can check mark the limits and that's just going to add this extra line here. So it goes really far back, but that is optional, but I will turn it on. But it's just something in the viewport, it's not actually going to affect the mist. Now what we need to do is click here on the view layer settings and we want to turn on this mist here. And this way in the compositor it's going to render out that mist pass that we can composite into the image. So now what we want to do is click here on the world settings. And you can see right here there is now a mist pass, so if I open this up, there is going to be a start amount and a depth amount. So I'm just going to go into wireframe so you can kind of see this better. So the start amount is going to be this little dot here, and this is when the mist is going to start. So I'd recommend putting it somewhere kind of at the beginning of your scene, maybe just right before the first objects. And then also the depth here, you want to turn this way up so it goes way far back into the scene, because if the depth is too small, the mist is just going to be too strong and you won't be able to see the depth of the objects. So I'm going to drag the depth up so that, that little yellow dot there is at the very end of the scene. Now there is also a fall off here so you can change the type of fall off and that's going to change kind of like the strength of the mist but it doesn't really affect the scene too much and I find that just the default one works great. So after you've set up the mist pass, it's important to now render the scene after you've set this up. So just hit F12 to render the image. So once the scene is rendered, you can just click right over here to go to Blender's compositing workspace. And I'm gonna click on the use nodes button. And then because I have the node wrangler enabled, I'm gonna control shift select the render layers and then also click on the backdrop button so you can see the image in the backdrop. Now, if I just take this mist right here, we can put the mist into the viewer and you can see this is what it's created. So it's white at the very back and then it's black on the very front. And you can see the objects in between are kind of a grayish color. So this is the data that we can use to create the mist. So to create this, we're gonna search for an alpha over node. You can also use a mix node, but I'm gonna be using an alpha over node. And we'll just drop it here after the composite and we'll put the image up to the viewer so we can preview the alpha over. So now what we wanna do is we wanna take that mist pass and we wanna put this into the factor. And then you can see that this image is gonna go into the top image. So we're mixing together the original image, which is the rendered image and this image here, which is just fully white. And so this fully white color, that can be the color of the mix, or you could replace it with like a foggy image or something if you wanted to, but I can just make the color here and maybe I'll just go with kind of like a cool blue color. And so why this is working is because the mist is going into the factor. So the black and white values of the mist pass are determining what part is gonna be the top image and what part is gonna be the bottom image. So now if you wanna edit the mist, you can change the colors of the mist pass. So an easy way to do this is to add a color ramp and I'm going to drop the color ramp in between the mist and the factor. So just drop it here in this wire and I can just drag it right up here. And so now I can drag the black tab around and you can see if I drag the black tab out, if I just control shift select it to preview it, as I drag the black tab out, there is more black. And so where it's black, there's going to be less mist. So if I just preview the alpha over, you can see that's what the black tab is doing. If I drag the white tab over, you can see if there's gonna be more and more white, there's gonna be more and more mist, and it's gonna be stronger. So you can easily change these tabs to change the mist. Now what you can also do is make the colors lighter and darker. So if the colors are darker, the mist is gonna be less visible. So if I just take the white color and make it kind of like a gray color, now the mist is a bit more see-through. Or let me just make this fully white again. If I click on the black tab and make the black tab lighter, if it's lighter, then the mist is gonna be stronger. So this way there's going to be mist all throughout the scene and even up close there is a lot of mist. Now, if you're using this in the viewport compositor, it doesn't look exactly the same as the actual render. So if I just click back here to go to the layout, what you can do is go into the rendered viewport mode and then click here on the drop down arrow and you can change the 
compositor from disabled to always. But when I do that, you can see right here, there's this message and it says viewport compositor setup not fully supported. Now, if I go back here to the compositor and let's just click on the black tab and make it kind of like a brighter color. If I now go back to the layout, you can actually see the mist is working a little bit, but there's actually not that depth. So it's not actually working correctly. However, it does actually work in the EV rendering engine. So if I change the render engine over to EV instead, you can see the mist pass is actually working. Now there's also another effect which you can get, which is kind of similar to this, but instead of it just kind of fading out to nothing or fading out to this color, you can actually fade it out to the mist pass. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the mist here and I'm going to plug this into the image instead. So this way, instead of it fading out to a plain color, it's actually fading out to that mist pass. To show you what this is doing, I'm going to duplicate the color ramp by hitting Shift D, and I'm going to drop it here in between the mist and the image. With the color ramp selected, hit the backspace to reset it. So now what I can do is change the top color ramp here. So I'm just going to make this fully dark, and then I can take the white color here and kind of drag it over so the mist is a lot stronger. So you can see the mist is really quite strong now, and you can see instead of it fading out to white, it's actually fading out to kind of these cool colors here. And then here on the bottom color ramp, you can actually change the color of the mist. So for the white color, maybe I'll just change this to a blue color because that looks really cool, kind of atmospheric. And then here on this other color here, this one I might make just kind of like a light blue or maybe a dark blue, something like that. And let's go back to the top color ramp and maybe make this a little bit darker so it's not quite as strong. So you can really see the difference of this effect. So the first one just kind of faded out to white or it faded out to a plain color, but this one fades out and it fades out to the actual mist pass. So you're able to actually see the shapes of the objects. So it's kind of more of a stylized mist. It does look pretty cool. So that's how you can create fog and mist in your scene using the mist pass in Blender. And if you'd like to purchase the finished tutorial project files, you can get that on my Gumroad and Patreon. And if you do like compositing in Blender and you want to learn much more about compositing in Blender, then definitely check out my Compositing for Beginners tutorial where I go over all the basics of compositing in Blender. So I hope you found this helpful and thank you for watching.